Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today we are back from LeBrand's new video. Today's video, as it has been a wee while since me and they just sat back and talked some Rangers things, I thought today would be the day that we do that ladies and gentlemen because Rangers went ahead and released a statement that is just filled with happiness and joy. Now just in case that deliciously clickbaity title doesn't give it away, ding dong, Mike Ashley he's gone. But believe it or not, that isn't the only bit of good news that Rangers supplied us with in today's statement. Na 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 na. There is quite a lot to break down and a lot to smile about ladies and gentlemen. So let's dive into today's Rangers roundup then and see what was said. And as always, whenever I'm quoting the board or discussing the board, I like to read directly from the source. That way you're getting the correct news straight to you guys and it reduces the, the chance of me messing up, which to be fair, look at me. I would. So regarding the commercial side of things, Rangers had this to say, as the world's most successful football club, they had me right there ladies and gentlemen, that was it, I was away. Anyway, it says, we firmly believe in setting the standard within Scottish sport both on and off the field. 32 Red, part of the Kindred group, will continue as the principal partner for a seventh consecutive season. As of next season, 32 Red's sister brand, Unibet, will be introduced into the partnership. We are proud that this partnership stands as one of the most successful within the UK. Rangers continue to form strong relationships with both domestic and international brands, with top tier official partners, Utilita, Konami, hello, Pez career mode, uh, Carrick and DCP. The partner family will be completed by Coca-Cola, Molten Brown, Tenants, Sport and Pay, CTM, Clarity Sports, Turnberry, Fan Logic, A Friend and Rangers Protect. The width and depth of our commercial partnerships continues to grow in anticipation of our 150th anniversary year with a number of new partners to be introduced over the summer months. Which basically just bitch slaps all the people saying, oh Rangers haven't got this, Rangers haven't got that, Rangers haven't got that. Again, showing they can absolutely none apart from their hatred and obsession with Rangers. But anyway, that actually leads us perfectly into the next point of the statement, which I think is the best part of the statement. I'm just going to say it, ladies and gentlemen, because this is the confirmation that Rangers are no longer tied with Mike Ashley or Sports Direct. Furthermore, Rangers will begin the 2020-21 footballing season with a new kit and retail operations partner following the conclusion of all existing contracts. And that's the part you put your phone down, ladies and gentlemen, you throw one of these up there and you just enjoy your weekend because finally he and that company is gone. And getting that guy away from your football club can never ever be understated because he is an absolute leech that will just fleece football clubs for his own benefit. And then he just think it's a Rangers thing and we just hate him because of this or that. Go and see what Newcastle fans think a Mike Ashley. They have done everything they could to get this man out of their football club for uh, petitions to protest to actually stepping away from supporting their own team just to try and get him away from that football club because they see what he is as well. Yes, you'll have these pundits come out and they trot out and they toe the line. They say, oh, he done this for the club and done this for the club. He's an absolute parasite, lads. You can always tell by fans' real and raw opinions. They'll tell you about your football club. And I just hope to God, now that we've got rid of Mike Ashley, I really hope all the Newcastle fans doing so get the takeover and they can finally get rid of him as well because football without Mike Ashley is the kind of football that we all need. And I'm just sitting here with a massive smile on my face. I genuinely couldn't wait to bring this news to you because I know a lot of you feel the exact same way as me and you absolutely hate this guy and you've seen him just rinse us and give us terrible deals so we fill his pocket and all the football team's pocket, the stuff with the mega store that we've not been able to go to, all this stuff that's been dragging our club back now has just been pushed and wiped clean and we can finally move forward and I'm genuinely buzzing to see what you guys have to say down there in the comments section. Well, this is one of my most anticipated because I know you are all struggling like me. I'm spinning out my head being in this lockdown, but that right there is some good news and I can't wait to discuss it with you guys down there in the comments section below. And while you guys are hopefully diving into the comments section below and sharing your opinions and feelings on this wonderful, wonderful day, I want to jump over to Twitter and hear from the people because we haven't had a good thing to discuss in a very, very long time. So let's see what the people's had to say. The first one comes in from Mike.G and he writes in huge step in the right direction. Boards played an absolute blinder. Here, four lads had a dream, writes in fancy, I guess. 
agree mate I agree Bob Steele just shows a picture of Andy Halliday celebrating and that's always appreciated on this channel there you are Halliday Halliday every other Saturday writes in feels like the club's finally got the control back got rid of something that is constantly holding us back absolutely fantastic news now we need to kick on commercially and start growing the revenue with no restraints Fantastic comment there from every other Saturday. Care James Armstrong writes in, time to get mad with it and party, baby. I think that's what he's, I think that's the way he said it anyway, just given the way he spelled it. Anyway, the next one comes in, he's got his name right upside down and let's be honest, I can barely read the names when it's wrote properly, so not a clue how to say his name, but he writes in onwards and upwards. Kirsty Keith writes in, I'm over the moon, feels like the club has taken control and is fighting very hard for the fans and the good of our football club. Viper999 writes and can't wait to stroll into the new refurbished mega store and spend, 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 knowing my money will directly benefit the world's most successful football club. Well, that's a spoiler for the last part of today's video, mate, but you know what? I'm so happy it doesn't even matter, mate. I'm sure we'll all be lining up on that wonderful, wonderful day. Kaiser King writes in about time, good to have the shot back again on match days. David Siddons writes in great news, now a lot more money can go directly to the club. Amin writes in best news of this lockdown and the last one that we'll actually read <laughs> the last one we'll read out actually comes from Drew and he writes in Van Damme is Rangers and Mike Ashley's the snake. I mean if that's not the greatest bit of Twitter reading out ever I don't know what is. But there is one last thing I would like to discuss about this Mike Ashley Sports Direct and Rangers situation because I think it's getting a bit lost in the old time because like me I'm absolutely bouncing out my tree as I've already said in today's video but the fact that Dave King said and went ahead and done exactly what that man said he was gonna do just sums up the man indeed all these people laughed at him when he said about the AJ he would step him down but he would stay to fight and get ready of my cash all these people all these arseholes that spread all over the internet laughing and sniggering saying oh I'll no do that it's just his way to get out Rangers will be stuck and tied with Sports Direct forever Dave King just looking for an easy way out and he'll crawl out the back door and leave Rangers to battle with it well ladies and gentlemen once again they have been proven to know absolutely absolutely nothing apart from their hatred for Rangers because Dave King did exactly what he said he would do. He persevered. I mean, some of the times, I'm going to be honest, I was frustrated seeing us another court battle, another court battle, fighting this, fighting that. I was annoyed at it, but the guy stuck to the task and got rid of a massive, massive leech from this football club. So I just wanted to say a quick little thank you to Dave King. The man done exactly what he said he was going to do. Now, obviously he's going to still be involved with Rangers as they talked about the AGM and as I talked about in the video. But now he can go ahead and focus on his other businesses and get them flowing as well. And aye, Dave King's entire thing cannot be understated in this victory over Mike Ashley and Sports Direct either. Next up, I know there's been so many questions, there's been so many rumours and so much discussion about next year's kit manufacturer, who's it going to be, is it going to be this team, or is it this team, or is it this team, well Rangers actually gave us a wee bit of an update regarding that as well, and this is what Rangers had to say. The club is incredibly excited to introduce its new kit and retail partner to Rangers supporters worldwide imminently. That was a bit difficult for me to say, I'm going to be honest. But anyway, he continues by saying, This represents a clean slate and marks the start of a new era in the club's commercial retail operations. The partnership will be a significant step forward in Rangers' recent history. Again, there is so much rumours about this being it, this being it. And again, I'm not going to discuss it right now, but in case it is now, it obviously gets flung a curveball because we all know there is so much rumours out there, ladies and gentlemen. But I think I know who it is, and I actually quite impressed with what is actually going to be coming our way. And like I said, what matters, it doesn't matter the name, owner, or who's manufacturing it, as long as it's a good deal for the football club, which it says there in the statement, it is a massive step forward. So for me, that's all that matters. As long as Rangers are now getting better and better deals, I'll be a happy happy guy. Now before we finish up today's video and we celebrate more down there in the comment section below, we have one last bit of good news to break down and discuss together. That's right, there's even more, ladies and gentlemen, because the Rangers board had this to say in today's statement. The mega store at Ibrox will undergo a significant renovation over the summer once the appropriate government guidelines allow. A further update and announcement will be shared with the supporters in the coming weeks, which is Honestly, just amazing, amazing news, lads. I'm absolutely buzzing. Can't wait to see the rest of the news. And as always, I will be updating you as soon as there's more real news 
out there. I know there's been a lot of bullshit, but this guy wants it, this guy wants it. It's all utter guff, ladies and gentlemen. When there's real news, I will be breaking down and discussing it with you guys and bringing you it right here on this channel. But before we finish up today's video, I have been CGNovo 992. I hope you and your families are all well, staying safe, and you are staying inside. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and bye-bye.